Hello again. We're going to take a quick look at how we create an event to appear in our um, calendar section or diary section. Um, on the home page, you'll see that near the base, we've um, it has our the next three forthcoming events, um, and also we've got a page that shows all the events. So if we just click on that, um, and you'll see one we've got the cake stall at the church. <clears throat> And that was to demonstrate how we got it to that place, that position. So we're going to flip into the uh, back side of the um, system. And this is an event. So we're going to have a look at events. <clears throat> and these are all the events that we've got going on. Now, if you can see, we've got uh, the cake stall event there. Well, I'm actually going to um, delete that event and rewrite it for you so we can see how we did it. So first of all, as you can see that's gone now, sorry. First of all, we go to add an event. There's a drop down section on the events box, add an event. And we're going to call it cake store. At, at the church, at the church. So we've given it a header. Uh, we're now going to give some text, <clears throat> and I think it goes along the lines of please visit our cake store. You will love our cakes then we have to tell it when the event is so by default it comes up with today's date we're going to add the 31st of January 2010 if it spanned more than one day then, then underneath you'd perhaps put the next day but this event is only for a one day uh, what time does it start well it starts at 11 o'clock and what time does it end? Well, let's make it a two o'clock finish. So that's 1400. We could repeat the event. So if something was going to happen every Saturday or once a month, we get the option to uh, repeat the uh, the event to save us up and to recreate each time. Very useful for regular events. And you'll see that the choir practice has been put in as a repeating event. We get a chance to put what, where the location of the event is. And we'll... St. Lawrence Church. Is it part of a category? Well, it was the Women's Fellowship, so we'll put it in there. It will show in the sidebar, and after the event's finished, will it put it in the archive? Yes, it will. Okay, we're going to save the event. And the job's done. If we go back to the front page of the site, and uh, we'll start off in the event section. And there's our event, Cake Stall at the Church. Please visit our Cake Stall. You will love our cakes. And it's in two days' time, and it's a three-hour event. Now, if we go to the home page, then the summary of that will appear just there at, uh, on the 31st of January, and it's 11 a.m., which is in two days' time. Okay, that's it. That's how to create an event.